I didn't want to become a star. I wanted to become the best player in Holland, and then I wanted to become the best player in the world. It's not about becoming a star. That's the issue of today. I think football has chosen me when I was a little kid, and I fell in love with football before I even understood what it was. I was playing 24-7, uh, if possible, on the street, um, in the classroom, and at home, in my room, avoiding uh, my mom trying to reach me, to grab me and kick me out of the kitchen. All of that helped a lot because you, were, you had to be really, really uh, agile because uh, sometimes things would be flying in the kitchen to your head. So. To saying, get out of here, you know, with the ball. All these things that, that you do naturally as a kid, uh, playing, not playing only PlayStation, um, is fundamental. I'm not saying don't play PlayStation because we didn't have PlayStation, we had Atari then. Believe me, it was not the same. <laughs> but um, the fun we had to play together to go out, having to avoid bicycles, having to avoid sometimes cars that would come out. We created a goal between two cars or all these things as creativity. It was helpful for me and I know it now. I didn't know then, but I know that it definitely helped me. From my 10th to my 16th when I started professional football, all my weekends practically, all the vacation periods where others could do whatever they wanted. Uh, we were playing and going to tournaments and traveling and, and then with 16 years, 17 years, we were in an adult world, working already. It wasn't easy to say, to see them go and have some fun um, in, in, in the weekends uh, because sometimes you feel like wanting to be with them and, uh, and, and those are choices, uh, the sacrifices one makes. Well, the level of excellence is what you strive for, decisions you make and the efforts you make to first uh, make sure you're physically fit. If you're fit, you can play and, and then you can complicate the life of your coach. If you're not fit, you make your coach's life very easy. Then you need to be mentally fit as well. If you have the possibility, read about stuff, read about how you can develop a strong, um, you know, uh, a strong mentality, how you can deal with uh, disappointments, which is obviously for everybody a very uh, present thing in our life. What I do think uh, is a real sacrifice is uh, the, the, the little time you spend with your family. That is, that is time that, is, that you cannot uh, take back. Um, uh, and, that, and that's for me the real, and probably only real sacrifice if we um, have to talk about it. And um, the return is not always what we want. So we need to enjoy it. We need to support each other in that, in those phases. And, maximize the moment you have with your family, friends and family. Well, first of all, I didn't want to become a star. I wanted to become the best player in Holland, and then I wanted to become the best player in the world. I wanted to become champion of the Champions League. I wanted to win the World Cup. I wanted to... Those are the dreams of young players. It's not about becoming a star. That's the issue of today. Today they want to become stars, but they don't become somebody who's leaving a legacy or become a winner in football. Today it's about the likes, about the followers, and which is a very important. I have nothing against it, absolutely not. But that doesn't say anything about the content. It doesn't say how good you have been. It doesn't say how much you have left behind in the places you've been, you've played for. And definitely, um, even what you have won doesn't really last forever. It's the impact you've had as a player, as a person, in the places you've worked with. And it's about the relationships that you've built during the period of your career. That's what's really important. Do whatever is needed, because that's the excellence. The excellence is not the final result, always, because that will be a consequence of all the things you do before.